Hello Interwebs, it's time for the Hardware Show. I'm Jacob. And I'm Dave. Gone are the days when a single CD-ROM would store an entire game within its 700 megabytes of disk space. Nowadays games can feature installation directories exponentially larger, such as Final Fantasy XV, which launched on PC this year with over 150 gigabytes of install files. That's over 200 Half-Life installs. Yeah, storage space has become far cheaper per gigabyte than back when Half-Life launched in 1998. In that same year, a gigabyte of storage space on a hard drive would cost you around $50, often more. While nowadays, that same hard drive gigabyte could cost you as little as two cents. But regular old hard drives haven't managed to keep up with other requirements, namely speed. SSDs are the answer to that problem, but also aren't quite as forgiving on your bank account, especially in the face of rising NAND prices. So if you're struggling with games refusing to update due to hefty day one patches or unknown quantities sapping your storage, here's all the tips we could muster to eradicate your wasted storage space, savour every last one of those precious gigabytes within your system. And all without deleting your entire gaming library. So let's get started. If you want to clear up storage space, you've got to first find out what is taking up all those NAND gates on your drive. There's two ways to do this, either within Windows Storage Settings tab or with a third party app called WinDearStat. While Windows breaks down your current storage quota in list format, WinDisStat puts all that storage information into blocks on the screen so you can come face to face with a massive file directory sapping away your bits and bytes. The result can be pretty surprising too. Often you'll find a single game hogging massive amounts of storage space with large textures alone. Suddenly that game that you've left installed just in case doesn't seem quite so critical now does it? Various apps also store huge caches of data for non-critical operation, such as Adobe's video editing software. But before you delete all this data, it's worth checking to see if those cache folders can be moved elsewhere to less valuable storage devices or simply turned off. Make a note of the apps hogging all the space and start culling as you see fit. Show no mercy as you tear through folder after folder searching for the once relevant apps that are no longer worthy of the precious seconds of your life. Yeah, uh, on to method two. AMD and Nvidia are notorious for unpacking their driver installation files onto your main OS drive and then not tidying up after themselves. Even if you make sure to clear out your downloads folder, during the installation process these drivers will make a safe copy of important files necessary for install within your main directory under the file name of either AMD or NVIDIA. These files average about 800 megabytes or more and easily stack up to many, many gigabytes if left unchecked. Don't be fooled, you don't actually require even the installation files for the currently installed driver package, let alone months and months of backdated driver packages. Everything in this file can be totally and utterly recycled. Lovely. Most of us will have had run-ins with Valve's gaming client Steam at one point or other. That also means that most of us will likely have a Steam download cache potentially full to the brim with unnecessary files ripe for the undertaking. So open up Steam and head into settings. From here you can open up the downloads tab and click clear download cache. Job done. Applications are serious hoarders. They like to store files here and there during function and these tend to gather quickly on your storage drives. To combat this, you can use disk cleanup and regain some of your lost space. It's been around for a while, but it is still extremely useful in freeing up space that is no longer required by all of your applications. Just head over to this PC, right click on the drive you want to clean up and select properties. Within this pop-up menu, click on Disk Cleanup, select the files you wish to delete, which very well might be all of them, and press Clean Up System Files. Don't worry, none of the files in this list will be that important or required by your PC to function, but bear in mind that this will likely wipe your recycle bin, so just double check that this is all Jetsam before pressing Delete. This method can free up considerable amounts of space if you've still got old Windows installations lying around. You can find these within your main file directory under a file called windows.old. If you're a little lazier, like us, then Storage Sense might pique your interest. This is a built-in feature within Windows 10 that aims to rid you of your storage goblins. Think of it like a Roomba for your PC. It's similar to disk cleanup, however Storage Sense requires little to no human interference on a regular basis, as it's all automated on Windows part, and that suits us to a T. Just turn the feature on in the Storage Settings within Windows Settings, and let Storage Sense send all the temporary files and recycling bin trash to the scrap heap for you. For a more immediate effect, clean out with disk cleanup and then switch on storage sense to prevent any more junk from gathering up over time. Thanks to hibernation, your PC doesn't need to suffer amnesia every time you boot it up. Sleep usually stores your current PC state into your system RAM for quick access on startup, but hibernation instead puts this file straight into your main storage drives. The reason for this lies within the very nature of the varying types of memory within your system. DRAM is volatile and as such requires constant refreshing to store data. 
Your hard drive on the other hand is non-volatile and can store data permanently during periods without power. If you want your PC to effectively switch off, yet not lose your PC's current state, then your computer has to store all of that information into a file for access at a later date. That file takes up storage space, just a touch less than your total system memory capacity as standard. Now ye be warned, if you're using a laptop, gaming or otherwise, you best leave hibernation on to prevent any unwanted issues when utilising the battery. Also, if you prefer speedy startups back to where you left off, the hibernation file size is just something you'll have to live with. But if you're fine with all that, you can disable hibernation really quickly through the command line. Just boot up command prompt with admin privileges, type in what you see here and press enter. That's it. You can always reverse that decision in the command line with the opposite command here. That's about all the tips and tricks we could muster for removing all of the needlessly occupied storage space on your system. Of course, you can always just free up space the old-fashioned way and delete old apps and games you really in good conscience won't play anymore. That or move them over to a cheaper storage drive, such as a cheap 1TB hard drive from Amazon or something similar. If you like what you've seen here today, or how much storage space you've managed to free up, then give us a like and subscribe and check out the channel for more. Also, head over to PCGamesN.com for the latest and greatest in PC hardware and gaming goodness. Bye! Thanks for watching!